Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to dive into a super creative platform called readkids.com. This is an amazing website that lets you create your own illustrated stories and even videos. As usual, let's start with a quick Google search. We'll type in readkids.com. The first result you see is the official website, so let's go ahead and open it. This is the home page. Right away, you can see that you get 200 credits just for logging in every day. This platform is packed with features. You can create content for yourself, for your business, for your classes, or even publish books you create right here on YouTube and Amazon. It has something for every age group, and there are thousands of ready-made templates with different styles for creating children's books on various topics. You can even generate videos from your own stories and publish them on YouTube without any copyright issues. That's right, completely copyright free. If you check their policies, you'll see that this is how the platform is designed. The platform is full of fantastic AI tools like custom drawing, AI filter, and image to video. I'll make a separate video about those features later on. To start creating your own story, Go to the left side and click on AI Picture Book, then select the AI Generate option. You have two choices here, Single Book and Book Series. For this video, I'll choose Single Book. A brief visual guide appears, but we'll just click Continue to move on. This page is where you can select the age range for your story. I'll choose 7 to 9 years old. For the story type, I'll select Stories. There are several options for the theme, and I'll pick Friendship to keep it simple and sweet. I'll leave the story order as chronological to keep the narrative linear. Here, you can choose between a third-person narrator or a first-person perspective. I'll go with third-person. I'll also leave this part as non-anthropomorphic. For the size, I'll select the 16 to 9 ratio, which is perfect for YouTube. Now, it's time to write our prompt. I'll type in the City of Living Books. Then, I'll click AI Generate and wait for the story to be written. Look how cool this is. It starts writing the story for you. And if you want, you can change or add to any part of the text. Once you've reviewed the story, Click on Extract Roles. Now we're in the Style section, and there are about 225 different styles to choose from. I'll scroll through them so you can get a glimpse. There are so many amazing styles it's hard to choose. They're all incredible, from cartoon and anime to hand-drawn, watercolor, 3D, and so many others. You can take your time to browse and find the perfect style for your story. For this video, I'll choose 3D Pixel. Next, we'll click Next to go to the next step. Again, there's a small visual guide. We'll click Continue to get to the main page. This is the main workspace on Read Kids. On the left, as you can see, it has created our characters for us. Our first character's name is Ada, and she's a girl. I'll click Generate and wait for the character to be created. You can see we just got 200 credits for this task. It created our character in the 3D pixel style, and it gave us four different images. You can even change the style from here if you want. I'll choose Anime Illustration this time and click Confirm. I'll click Generate again to create my new character. It says it will take 2 minutes, but it's usually done in less than 30 seconds. And there it is. My character is created. As you can see, it's super cute and beautiful. You can save the character from this section. Now, I'll move on to the next character. On the right side, you can change the character descriptions. By clicking on Edit Character, you can see the details and customize them to your liking. 
To keep this video from getting too long, I'll just click confirm without making any changes. I'll click generate to create the next character. And there we have it. Our male character is beautifully made in the anime style. I think there was a third character in the story, so I'll generate that one as well. And this character is created too. After each character is generated, we get another 200 credits. Next, we see our storyboard, with four scenes and their prompts. You can customize this by deleting, adding, or changing anything you want. We'll click next and wait for our story to be created. Our scenes are now ready with their corresponding texts. We can now generate the images for each one. I'll click generate here and wait for the image to be created. We got another 200 credits. It created four images using its AI, all in the anime style we chose. You can select the one you like best and click apply to the canvas. In this section, you can edit the text. You can bold it, change its color, adjust the stroke, or change the font. You can also add a background. Now, let's move on to the second scene. On the right, you can use the original prompts or write your own in the My Prompt section. You can also add characters here. I'll click Generate again to create my image. The image is created. It made a beautiful outdoor setting for me. From the four options on the right, you can choose the one you like and click apply to canvas. I'll make the font more readable by choosing Noto Sans. Let's move on to the third scene of our story. I'll click generate to create the image. After it's done, I'll choose my favorite from the four images on the right. I'll place the text in the right spot. You can also write a new prompt for the image to create a different look. And with this option, you can see a small preview to compare it with the previous images. Now, for the fourth and final scene. I'll click Generate and, just like before, I'll choose my preferred image and adjust the text. Remember, you can also change the text that was automatically generated. You can add another scene by clicking the plus icon here, and you can also use this option to download the image. Now that I have all my scenes and text, you can click present at the top to see what your story looks like. From here, you can select the background music. You can choose a track that fits the theme and feel of your story and images. I think this one sounds best, so I'll choose it. Now, in this section, you can choose your narrator. Hello, welcome to Read Kids. Hello, welcome to Read Kids. Hello, welcome to Read Kids. You can either select a different voice for each scene or a single voice for the whole story. You can try them out one by one until you find a voice you like. The library lanterns glow. Once you've selected your voice, click generate at the top to create the audio. I'll do this for each scene. In the heart of a busy city, tucked beside the gentle... 
Now let's go back to the present section to see how it all came together. The library lanterns glow. In the heart of a busy city, tucked beside the gentle curve of the old river, stood the Granaria Library, a place where, according to legend, the books were more alive than anywhere else. No one believed the rumor, of course. No one except Ada Lepore, whose sneakers pattered to the library steps every Tuesday afternoon, rain or shine. From here, you can share it on social media platforms like Read Kids itself, Facebook, X, and others. Finally, at the top right, I'll click Generate and choose a name for my story. I'll then click Generate Video. This page opens up, where you can add effects and choose an animation for the transitions between scenes. If you haven't chosen music yet, you can also add background music here. Finally, I'll click Generate and wait for my video to be created. Once it's finished, you can click on the three dots at the top right to download your story as a PDF, an image, or a video. This is the video, and you can download and watch it. One of the best things is that you can publish this video on YouTube and monetize it without any copyright worries. Plus, you can sell the PDF file as a book on Amazon and other online stores. The Library Lanterns Glow In the heart of a busy city, tucked beside the gentle curve of the old river. In this section, you can see your daily credits and the cost of each step of the creation process. In the My Creations tab, you can view and edit all your projects. The Explorer section lets you see projects that have already been created by other users. In the Image section, you can browse all the images created on this platform. The Books section shows you stories created by previous users, and you can click on Preview to see what they're like. You can get ideas from them and see how beautifully these stories are made. I've opened a Japanese-themed story here, and you can see how gorgeous and well-themed it is. In the Authors section, you can find users with the most likes and comments, who have created great stories. You can go to their pages, read their stories, and get inspiration. This section also lets you see some fantastic caricatures that have been created. They're truly beautiful and can give you a ton of ideas. Well, everyone, I'm glad you stuck with me until the end. If this tutorial gets a lot of support, I'll create more videos about the other features of this amazing site. I would love it if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel. Until the next video, take care of yourselves. Goodbye everyone.